In this video, let's learn how to wrap HTML elements and create custom components which can be used in a React application. If you're building a design system or even a regular React app without relying on a UI component library, it is common to create basic elements like buttons and inputs with your own styling. Such components though should be capable of accepting special props that you want to use along with the normal HTML element props. Let's see how to achieve that in this video. For this example, in the components folder, I have created a new folder called HTML. Within the folder, I've created two files, button.tsx and input.tsx. Let's start with button.tsx. I've created a very simple component called custom button which renders a button HTML element with label as the button text. What we need to do is pass in a prop that will affect how the button is styled. So at the top, type button props. It's an object and we are going to specify a prop called variant. The value can be primary or secondary. Let's destructure this variant from props. Variant and props type is button props. Now the way we are going to use this for our button is by adding styles based on its value. To keep this simple though, I'm going to specify class name is equal to a template literal which is a class with the variant name. In a more practical scenario, a primary class would be applied if variant is primary and a secondary class would be applied if variant is secondary. But we don't really care about the class implementation so I have specified our class is dependent on the variant prop. Now if I go back to app.tsx and import and invoke the component custom button we should be able to pass in the variant prop. So variant is equal to primary. However, this doesn't work for us, does it? The button label is always label. In between the opening and closing tags, if I try to include primary button as the text, TypeScript throws an error. It basically says children props are not allowed. Even a basic on-click prop cannot be specified. So on-click is a simple function that logs to the console the string clicked. TypeScript throws an error. Now to fix these errors we need to specify button props to include the HTML button props in addition to our special prop. For that, React again provides a type. So we are going to say, apart from the variant prop, button props will also include react.componentProps and for the generic type, we specify button. Now we can destructure children and rest. In the JSX, label can be replaced with children prop and we spread rest of the props on the button element. So dot 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 rest. You can see that TypeScript is happy again and our component will work as expected. Let's do the same for our custom input as well. At the top, type input props is equal to react dot component props. We specify input. Now within parentheses, we get hold of props of type input props 
and simply spread it on the input element. So this is pretty much how you wrap HTML elements and add your own types and logic in React. Now one more important TypeScript feature that comes in handy when wrapping HTML elements is the omit keyword. Omit takes an object type and removes the specified properties. Let's look at an example. At the moment, the children type is react.react node, which comes from the HTML button element props. This allows us to pass in any React node type as children to the custom button element. So I can pass in div tag, primary button, div tag, and this would work. But let's say we want to restrict the children type to just strings. So back in button.tsx, in button props, we can specify children of type string. However, when we do this, you can see the type of children is an intersection of string and React node. Not really what we want. We need to tell TypeScript to leave out the children type from the HTML button element type. And for that, we can use omit. And the syntax is the omit keyword, angle brackets, the type from which we want to omit properties, which is the button element type. So that is going to be within angle brackets. And then a comma followed by the type we want to omit, which is children. If you now hover on the children prop, you can see it is of type string only. And we have an error in app.tsx. Change it to a simple string and the error is now gone. Omitting props is something you will come across when building design systems or components from scratch. So make sure you remember about this. All right. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.